Hey guys, welcome back to the gaming channel where we're not good gamers, we're just good people who play games and Marvel Avengers Endgame comes out in theater in less than a week. So what better way to celebrate that than to download every single Marvel games on the App Store. Now some of these games, I have downloaded it and played it after about like 1-2 months and I'll uninstall because technically no one really sticks to a mobile game for that long unless it's like PUBG or... PUBG. Today we're gonna revisit all the Marvel games that I have played in the past and some other games which I have not played ever before and um, so this is a special surprise for you guys okay we have a special worldwide ranked player in our room today okay so stay to the end of the video to check him out alright alright so these are the four games that I've downloaded onto my phone these are Marvel Battle Lines, Marvel Pinball, Future Fight and Strike Force so we'll play Battle Lines first okay this is the latest game that I just downloaded on the App Store all of these games are from the iOS store right guys couple we have Star Lord, Iron Man, we have Black Widow is that even is that Star Lord? I don't think that's Star Lord. Alright, so we have a comic intro. You can choose to skip the comics or not. It's a very long comic, I'm guessing, so I'll just tell it as I see it. Alright, so the Avengers are going into a space satellite, there's Nick Fury, there's Red Skull. Yep, there's Red Skull. Alright, Black Widow's there and Cube Power. This Red Skull is still chasing after the test track. I have no idea why. Oh, so that leads up to our first game. Alright, so this game is a battle of like Chess? It's like something like chess. It's a board game, alright? So, um, I'm guessing my characters are the one in blue. Red Skull is the one in uh, red. So, let's just see. So, drag Captain America to the middle here. Okay. Ooh! Oh, okay, so it's a directional pad game. Alright, cool, cool, cool. With comic effects. Nice, nice. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, I, I almost got an epilepsy attack. So that's me in a blue hoodie. Alright, absorbing man. What is this odd power? Whatever it takes. Take this. Cool. So his clones are Rhino, Mysterio, and Lizard. Wow. Absorbing man versus player. So player, that's me. Alright. Okay, so I guess I'm the next Avenger then. <laughs> it's called the library. It can contain energy of 12 cards. Okay, so draw cards from there. Ah, okay, 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 I get it. You can hold up to four cards from the library. Let's call this your hand. Okay, summon a character. Wait. So it's a turn by turn basis, alright? I think it comes. Do I do my characters actually disappear or did I just kill him? Oh my avatar! Okay, let's go. Who am I? Um so basically my power is the the glove, the spike device, right? I think this guy looks like me the most. I mean he's using green. I'm using green. Let's call him. What would my Avenger name be? If Oh my god, I was thinking about it, but it's so lame. Dan Bam. Dan Bam. I'll go with Dan Bam. <laughs> I sound like a fat character. Dan Bam! This game is called Marvel Battle Lines. Let's get on to the next game. Alright guys, so the second game that we're going on to is called Marvel Pinball. And this game can be found on the iOS store and it costs $1.48 now. It may seem cheap. Let's just see whether it's worth the $1.48, okay? So there's a leaderboard, okay? And there are... Oh, I have to buy tables. No, sweetie, no. So I guess I have one table. Alright, single player. I mean, pinball is pretty straightforward, right? There was an idea. Oh, wow. Not, not too bad. Very good graphics. I mean, not that it's good graphics, but it's 3D. So, yeah, it, it looks like a PS1 to PS2 in between that range. So there's a lot of ways to get combos. So that's low-key. I'm guessing he's locked up. So there's no mission to this. There is no mission. You just have to get a high score on, on the pinball table. So I'm guessing... I mean, pinball is pretty much straightforward, you know? All right, let's go with Captain America. All right, you pull down and let's go. Okay, dokie. What's the high score? Skill shot missed. Oh, uh, wow. I'm getting a lot of points just by doing nothing. Oh, where, where did the ball go? Hey! Ball saved! Ah, the ball was saved! Ah, yeah, see? Captain America has that quirk where he can save a ball. Very nice, very nice. You know, like, every time you play a pinball game, there's a certain physicality that comes with the game. Wait, wait, what did I do? Captain America ball locked. Wait, what? I was about to say, like, you know, different pinball games have, like, different physicality. You know how the physics of the ball work for you to actually gauge on where to shoot the ball. If you play pinball very often, you would, you would understand what I'm talking about. So, I'm still trying to get used to the, the movements of the ball. I know there's a certain thing you have to press to activate a certain skill. I, I keep knocking on Loki's door, but nothing is happening. Loki, wake up! Another 5,000 points right there, yeah. Is there anything special that's gonna happen soon? Because... Oh, okay. So I can nudge the, the pinball machine by just swiping on the top right of the screen there. There you go. Yeah, you can swipe it to nudge the ball. And not bad. I'm actually surviving quite long. What was the high score again? Oh, what was that? What was that? What was that? Okay. I have to worry about both balls. Yay! Now it's just spamming. I, I'm just spamming the balls to make sure that I don't lose both balls. Whoa! 
Whoa, something's happening. But I can't see the animation because I'm so concentrated on the balls not falling down into the middle of the hole. I'm not winning that easily. Yeah, that's right. Uh, one ball went down the hole. All right, so okay, I'm, I'm actually, am I doing good? I don't know. I, I feel like I'm doing good somehow. No! Oh, wait, another ball there. Yeah, get more points for me. Get more points for me. Yeah, that's right. That's right, boy. That's right, boy. Mm, 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 mm. Two balls. I got two balls now. I mean, I've always had two balls. It's not red anymore. So it's less intense. I don't know what that was about, but woo! Oh no! Ball out. How many, how many lives do I have? Is it, oh, oh I, I lost. Is this a new game or is it a continuation? What do you mean skill shot miss? Oh, it's a continuation. Oh crap. And I accidentally just wasted a good ball. Okay, never mind. I feel like I'm not playing this game to this full potential because it says that I, I missed the skill shot. So how do I activate the skill shot? That's the one thing I want to know. Okay, um, it's, it's going around circles and circles. Activate Loki's door again. Now, now it's just getting harder and harder. So I got the middle part. I need to go to the other side. Nope, missed it again. Oh, wow, that was scary. Oh, 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 I activated the, the one on the right. Now I need to activate on the one on the left. The one on the left. Let's go. Oh, so close. One more time, one more time. And... Nyata! Nope, wrong one. Let's do it one more time, one more time. A bit more, down and... Shblang! Oh! Something blocked me! I did it! Wait, I need to hit it one more time, right? Oh, okay, come back to me. Thank you. And shablang! Nope, I missed. Oh, this is so hard. At least see, now I know what I need to do. Now I have a goal in mind, you know, to play this game. Okay, come on, come on down. Let's go, let's go, yes. Oh, the one on the top there. Wait, I'm done. Wow! Alright, enter initials. Um, oh wow, I can't believe we still have this old school way of typing. Uh, then save. Yes. Game over. Wow, what was my total score? 5.1 million. God damn. Not good then. <laughs> I'm number one, guys. So that's all for Marvel Pinball. Let's get on with the next game. All right, so this game is Marvel Future Fight. We have Sabertooth, we have Juggernaut, we have... Who is that? Hakim said Nightwing. I almost went like... Yeah, wait, what? No! <laughs> Let me just introduce you to my team, okay? Alright, so we got Captain America, I got Black Widow, I got Iron Man, each with their different classes. Alright, alright, I have to do to, I have to do story missions to collect biometrics to unlock more characters or to upgrade my heroes. So when there's classes involved in a game like this, means there are advantages and disadvantages for different characters. My advice when you play this kind of game, if you're gonna invest in this game, is to always have a strong hero in each different classes. Range, fighting skills like for example for you who don't understand it's like uh rock paper and scissors all right i mean each one will counter the other very flashy skills i guess i mean captain america is just pretty much basic yeah and plus i'm also lower level so okay let's see what iron man can do oh iron man let's go lazor okay let's go it oh captain america came to help okay let's use this skill the other skill oh okay let's just be on black widow yeah I just pressed on the skill button and she ran away from him. Ultron replica range. Alright, let's go. Where is the guy? Where are the guys there? Come on, Black Widow. Let's see what you can do. Blast speed. Speed type characters can deal additional damage. I see, this is what I mean by rock, paper, scissors. Each class has its strengths and weaknesses. Combat is... Good against speed, weak against blast. Blast is good against combat, weak against speed. And speed is strong against blast, but weak against combat. And that's universal. So in a game of scissors, paper, stone, you have a gun. Because gun kills everyone. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's go. Wait, so this guy is a range, right? Oh my god, what, what beats range again? Yeah, boom. Bang. Okay, so that means I need combat. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That's a lot of damage. Okay, let's go with Captain America. Let's go. Oh, thank you, Captain America, for joining the fight. Oh, now I got all three out. Yeah, let's go, baby boys. Yeah. You're dead. That's right. Mission success. The start of a journey. My personal thoughts on this kind of game, okay? Because there's a free Marvel game also on Steam just like this. The game on Steam has a wider range of heroes for you to choose from. There's not much punch. It's always missing that extra spice, you know, to make it like a very like, ooh, game for you to continue every day. This is a game where you can sit on the train and just be like, mm. this game does not have any risk when you just quit a game mid-game, you know what I mean? Like, there needs to be a game, a Marvel game which gives you like a sense of attachment or commitment, you know? On the bright side, this game does have a co-op mode, so you can get your friends to play this game as well. So right before I wanted to say, let's move on to the next game, I just realized that I got a selector for a six-star character and I got two of it. So, wow. I got, a lot of, I got a lot of stuff actually inside here, wow. See, this is one way how the game tempts you to stay, you know? 100 energy when you only need four more to have full. Okay, you know what? Let's just see the character, right? Bro! 
this game is tempting me to stay. Okay, we got Korra, we got Minerva, The Thing, uh, we got Human Torch, we got Lafay, Iron Hammer, Goliath, Chloe, Lai, we got Shuri, we got uh, America Chavez, okay, nice. Heimdall, ooh, we got Heimdall. It's universal as well, okay, you know what? Let's see whether they have um, any other interesting characters. We got freaking Ancient One, we even got Sharon Rogers as Captain America. Whoa, 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 is this a spoiler? Is this a freaking spoiler? I'm gonna take Miles Morales. Should I take Miles Morales? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna take Miles Morales. I got Mr. Miles Morales. All right, so I got one more character. Select this Thor. That's right, I've got Thor. Very nice. All right, guys, so for reals this time, on to the last game. All right, guys, so the last game we're gonna play is Marvel Strike Force. I think out of all the Marvel games I've ever played, this Marvel game I have spent the most time on, all right? Because it has a very immersive storyline, even though it's nothing like I've ever seen before anyway, even in the comics or even in the movies, all right? Because they've been controlled by Ultimus. Like, even Thanos can be technically on your team, but the ultimate villain is Ultimus. This game requires intense concentration. I'm just, I'm just gonna show you what this game looks like on day one. And like I said earlier in the video, we're gonna bring on a player worldwide who is ranked internationally on this game because he has played this game for almost a year. Alright guys, so this game, they have a lot of different classes as well. But it's much more than just rock, paper, scissors, alright? There's brawlers, there's support heroes, there's a protector. So basically, you have a team of five. It's a turn-by-turn -turn basis uh, RPG fighting game. Examples of a support hero, they can heal me. This is my special skill. Which each turn, you can actually um, gain a bar for your skill. So for example, like just now, I, I needed like three bars to do my Spider-Man skill. Okay, so I'm gonna open up an orb and I got Luke Cage. Alright, so when you download the game, this is your default score. Squad. You have Spider-Man, you have Luke Cage, and you have a healer. Along the game, you can actually just, you know, swap out your healer to another character that can heal you, but, you know, it's, it's much cooler to use a, a proper character rather than a shield force agent. So let's just go through one round, alright? Let's just see whether... You can actually choose who to attack, right? And you just use your skill. Bang. Shablang. I'm from... I go... I go blank. And that's right. So it's an AOE damage. Wow, that's... You got three guys in one go. Jeez. Alright, so your, your support hero can also shoot, but it probably won't do much attack. Alright, Medic. Do it! Ouch, you suck. Oh, knee to the face, that's right, baby. Sweet chin music right there. Alright, so this is a very basic and boring team. So this is what my team roster looks like on day one. So this is what a team roster will look like after 363 days. Alright, so this is what it looks like. Jesus McNuggets, man. Yikes. The, this ranked player, he's very shy. He doesn't want to come. Come on, just come here and show me. Lah. Okay, so this is the uh, this is Hakim. He's actually ranked uh, 220 worldwide in this game, okay? Yes. At one point in time, uh, he was ranked 130. Yeah, so he was very proud of his this um, achievement. Yes, yes, if you want to call this an achievement, that is. Um. So we've seen how the basic fight of the game started out, you know, like level one. Show, show me a fight right now. Like, how would what a battle look like right Let's now? Let's make it more interesting. I don't know. I'm gonna let you pick any type of heroes that you want for your team, uh. and then you can fight with the enemy. Uh, why? Why me? Just choose any hero that okay, you Okay, fine. You, you, you say any hero. I go I go bottom. I see the lowest ranked hero. I see whether they can fight. Let's go with uh, Deadpool. I like Deadpool. Okay. Let's go with uh, Captain America. He was the first character I got. Okay. Uh, so we got a brawler. I mean, someone who's like... Ah, Crossbones. I like Crossbones. Because Yondu. I, I like Yondu. Yondu is pretty OP in this game, in my opinion. And we need a medic. We need a healer. Uh, night Nurse. Alright, so we got a Night Nurse. I don't have a protector. You know what, let me take off Captain America. I need a protector. I got Luke Cage. Yep, okay, Luke Cage a protector. Alright, so is this a very doable team, I guess? So let's go! So this is what a battle looks like when I mean, it's high tier. I've not spent a single drop of cash on this game. Sure. Then literally spend $5, uh -huh. spend $0. On yeah, this but game. can you imagine if I actually did spend the $5? I think I would have be higher than you by now. Oh. Wait, who's the first person? I sh no, I shouldn't kill Wolverine first. I should kill Crossbone first, right? Yes, because Damn it. he explode. Yeah. Okay, jeez. Okay, never mind. I think now is a good time to kill him. Uh, should you, I should, you should raise your... Yeah, because everyone gets defense up. Ah, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, so whatever damage that you receive from the opponent will be reduced. Ah, I see, okay. So, I mean, we're still gonna try and kill him anyway. Yeah, that is the best part about Yondu is that he will just hit... Like, it's a major AOE. Alright. Same for Deadpool. You would just literally just. Oh, Wolverine's dead. Okay. Uh, do I need to heal up anyone? Uh, yeah, let's just. Uh, Maybe let's just heal. Yeah, let's just heal. Oh, yeah! Oh, wow. That, that took a lot of damage. Okay. Um, okay, Crossbones. Your turn. Uh, offense up. Okay, doesn't really matter. Oh, wow. He actually brought in someone. So you will hit him on the back also. 
Oh damn! Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, normal attack, let's go. There you go. Oh wow, that's quite high tier. This is the Defenders team. Oh okay, yeah, the Defenders. Oh no, actually it's the, the Marvel Rejects. I call them Marvel Rejects because you know why? Netflix cancelled all their shows. Most favourite character, you know, honestly for me, at the start of the game I already got Spider-Man, so that's my favourite character. So yeah guys, so this guy is ranked 220 in the world. Um, Yeah, he was really hard selling this game. Alright guys, so the verdict of all four Marvel games, right? The first game, Marvel Battle Lines, I think it has to be the best game out of all the four games I played, honestly. Because it's a new game, it's a new concept for me, alright? And it's a turn-by-turn card-based game. And I think there's a lot more to explore in the game, you know, there's a lot of different characters, there's a lot of different aspects of the game. I think it's really interesting and it takes a lot of strategy to play these kind of games. Second game, the Marvel Pinball for $1.48 to get that amount of boards, one free board and the rest I still have to buy, I think it's not worth it. So technically what I did was just pay $1.48 for a trial. But for a game to cost $1.48 on the App Store, and that have that amount of features on it, I don't think it's worth it guys. So third game, Future Fight. I would say it's a 50-50 on me because I didn't reach the part where I could actually autoplay. This kind of games, you can actually autoplay but like I said, once you've reached the stage of autoplay, it just takes away all that sensation, all that drive, all that, that sense of achievement in the game, you know. I'm giving it a, a pass. Like I would play for a week or two and then I'll be done. And the last game, Strike Force. Now, it is the second best game of all the Marvel games I've played. All right, so Strike Force, it really is a long-term based game. I think it's one of the games that you really have to invest your time in, invest your mind, heart and soul into it because it really becomes a part of you. Like, you know, like people who play PUBG on a daily basis, yeah. Strike Force is one of those games that you can play on a daily basis and there'll be something new every day. So that's my verdict. So it's uh, Battle Lines, Strike Force, Future Fight and Pinball. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Do let me know in the comment section below if there are any other Marvel games that I missed out and which one is your favourite Marvel app game on this video. Remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time and stay tuned for I don't know what but I'm so excited for Endgame. Okay, it's in a week's time guys. Captain America is gonna die. You heard it here first.